let's understand about paused and failed flow interviews so in a uh, previous lesson i demonstrated you like if your flow fails so you will receive an email uh, the user who last modified and uh, you can set your email in the apex exception uh, settings as well other than that if you want to see for a uh, failed uh, flow interview so what you can uh, do you can search for paused and failed flow interviews so here you will see two list views one is for paused and one is for failed so if you select failed flow interviews so you will see the list of failed interviews and uh, here you will see all the information like flow label flow api if i expand it so flow version then flow type screen flow last modified by last modified date and time current flow api name then it is current flow version right so this way all these information is available here so you can just expand these columns and you will be able to view the information and if you click on this link so flow builder will be opened uh, with having all error information so if you run your flow from the ui and uh, you don't receive any error email so at the time you can just go here paused and failed flow interviews search for the list view and you will find all the information available here so this element is breaking and if you uh, see here create record create opportunity so everything is available here like why it is failing and the error message so this way also uh, you can uh, find your failed interviews now second thing is all paused flow interviews so for example if we go here and see like here we have flows but here pause button is not available on the screen so what you need to do you need to search for process automation settings if you go to process automation settings so here you will find this checkbox let users pause flows if you enable this settings and you click on save so here you need to set the default workflow user so i am just selecting my current system admin user and clicking on save so this way i enabled that setting so that uh, my flows will be paused now onwards so i am refreshing the page and here you can see on both the flows uh, pause button is available right so uh, here i am just providing name and date moving next and on this second screen i am just clicking on pause it is asking for the pause reason so so my pause reason is like not having enough information so that's why i'm pausing and clicking on okay so you can see this flow interview is paused so on this account record this flow is paused now if you want to resume your uh, flow from that Uh, screen only so what you will do you will search for paused and failed flow interviews this time yeah this uh, all paused flow interviews uh, list view is available by default so here you can see this flow is paused and uh, every information is available here and here you can see it is showing current element uh, where uh, this flow is paused and this is flow version if we go to right so this is current flow version right so every information is available here if i click here so you will see more details like uh, name uh, this is flow pause interview record so it is the name auto number and interview label then pause reason paused or failed date then current flow information version type current element where you pause the flow then this is flow information like flow api name version type right so this way every information is available now if you want to resume your flow so you need to click on resume it will be resumed automatically so you can see your flow is resumed now that particular flow which you paused uh, from particular record so if i uh, click here and select the stage so if i go here 
So here you can see there is no opportunity. So if I complete the steps from here, okay, it is showing some error. So let's check what error is there. Okay, we need to go back and uh, we need to click here, select this. Okay, yeah, got it. So actually what is happening uh, for one of the demonstration, I just removed the stage. So that is required field. So what I need to do, first I need to uh, modify this flow. So I'm just going to edit this flow. And here I'm going to add one more field as stage. Now I'm just clicking on save as, then save, activate. Again, I'm going to refresh this page. So I will be pausing the flow again, right? So I selected opportunity name and closed it, clicked on next and pause. Now moving, so I'm just closing these tabs. Now refreshing this space. So I will be having one more entry for the pause. Right, so I'm just opening this. Okay, so here you can see uh, this is one more record uh, when we pause the flow. So new records will be created every time. And this time I'm clicking on resume. So if you click on resume, so that entry will be removed from paused and failed flow interview list view. Now clicking on qualification, clicking on next. Right, so here if we go and refresh this page, so you will see a related opportunity will be there. So here it is. So this way, I hope you understood how we can handle paused and failed flow interviews.